Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy, Nerd Modon, and I'll be doing a gameplay commentary over some Battlefield 4. For this particular installment, we'll be going over the U-100 MK5, and we'll be talking mainly due in part to the statistics that the weapon occupies, followed by some general information that is currently listed to us on Synthic.com. Now to start things off guys, the maximum damage for the U-100 MK5 is listed as 25 damage per bullet. Of course, that is not included with any damage modifications or any attachments that you can add to your weapon. Obviously, adding something like a heavy barrel is going to make it so that your maximum damage is increased by a certain percentage, thus making it that your time to kill is also going to be increased in that circumstance. It's going to be a lot easier for you to hopefully down your opposition with having the maximum damage being extended and hopefully minimizing the minimum damage that you'll have to occupy. With that in mind guys, that 25 damage is only going to last to 12 meters, which is pretty close. So you're definitely not going to have a whole lot of room to uh, be able to sit back and uh, have a heyday with that 25 damage. Now, of course, you're going to have it for about 12 meters, but after that 12 meters, you're going to start to see 25 damage start breaking down by the percentage or the decimal point. It's not very significant, but it's definitely noticeable, especially if you're starting to engage your targets at 25 or more meters. It's going to require you approximately about one or two more bullets depending on the range that you're occupying or shooting at your opposition. Now of course when we hit 70 meters that is when we're going to hit the minimum damage. It's going to be listed here as 17.6 damage which is not very low. I mean it could definitely be a lot worse but it's definitely not no 25 damage as it's stated for maximum. The minimum damage then after 70 meters is going to be consistent with 17.6 and that's what you're going to have to work with until you can engage your target hopefully at a little bit of a closer distance. For the particular next information guys we'll talk about the fire rate and the fire rate is listed as 590 rounds per minute which is not terrible by any means but it's definitely not on par with probably some of the faster rate assault rifles, PDWs and a lot of the other weapons that will be issued into the final release of the game. I don't imagine the U100 MK5 being probably a primary choice for most supportive players, but it's definitely going to have its place in the battlefield. It's not a terrible weapon, but it's definitely not the best weapon that we're probably going to see. I do not imagine it probably coming out on top and becoming one of the quote-unquote OP weapons that Battlefield has to offer, but it's definitely a usable weapon, and you guys have seen in the beta, it's definitely a viable weapon needless to say the least. The magazine size is listed here as 45, which is pretty consistent. It's a little bit of a step up in comparison to maybe Battlefield 3, but it's definitely not going to be no 200 rounds that the Type 88 has to offer. It's a pretty sufficient magazine. It's magazine fed, so the reload speed is not terribly bad, and that also increases the capability for you getting back into the action and hopefully mowing down some more of the opposition. So with that all said and done, of course, that is the primary information that we have for the beta. Of course, a lot of this stuff will might be adjusted when the final release of the game comes out. At that time as well, we'll also see what the adjustments were, followed by the sheer fact that the, all the attachments will be listed to us as the consumers. Hopefully at that time, we'll have the ability to make this weapon one of the best weapons that can be on the battlefield, and hopefully it'll find a place within everybody's heart to come back and use when the final release is out. But until that time, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I look forward to hearing your guys' comments. Until then, guys, this is NMO, and I'll be signing out. Peace.